I don't believe you. I don't believe there was tool this in ground farming. Take you for a ride. What the fuck? Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. What? Flash in X Men versus Street Fighter. Ah, what the? Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of what Heroes. What am I fucking looking at? Take down the Kingpin in the beat em up Wait, side scroller The Punisher back. and more. Oh boy, there is, you know, there, there is, there's no way I can really contain my excitement because the damn Nintendo Direct came through, thought they was gonna cook something up and they absolutely did. Honestly, I feel like this is a Direct that has something for literally everybody, you know? It's literally something for everybody to just enjoy sit down when the time comes for their game to come out right and boy howdy there's like three different damn games that is within this whole damn direct that i would say i'm pretty excited for probably gonna go in order of game i'm probably not gonna purchase but excited as here and game to maybe at one point in time then go to game that i probably am so that's just how it is but when it comes down to it Let's talk about the big one that probably everybody gives a shit about, which is Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Finally, after literal years of no one seeing what the hell this game looks like, this is actually real life. This is actually what the game looks like. About damn time. To be real with you, it is finally about damn time we get to see what is cooking when it comes to this and it looks pretty damn good no doubt this is gonna be a switch to ass launch game most likely let's just keep that stack now hear me out i am not necessarily someone that plays a lot of metroid prime in fact i haven't played any but when it comes down to it though i'm just happy y'all getting y'all game that's essentially what it is I still have to play Metroid Dread because I haven't played that yet, but I'm just happy people getting their game. That That's literally something that people have been asking for for years upon years, and it's been a damn joke. So finally, people are getting it, and hopefully when it does come out, it'll be just as good as the people hope it is. Like, legit. So when it comes down to that, yeah, that's pretty damn exciting. And speaking of people that's actually getting their game, we also have Marvel vs. Capcom coming back. Finally, after some time in years of the whole hashtag free Marvel vs. Capcom 2 movement that, uh, you know, Maximilian Dude did, finally, the shit is actually free. The shit is actually free for people to go out and purchase those games that wasn't purchasable. So, that's great. I'm just honestly, to be real, I'm just happy Max Guy's game. That's essentially it. I'll probably maybe pick it up sometime down the line, but I'm just happy that Max Guy's game because that's like the whole reason why I even like jumped on the train or even cared a bit about it because Mans was just literally complaining about how it's not free, how we had, I think the arcade edition where you could buy like a whole arcade setup for it. But, and that was like the, technically the only free way of getting the game but at the very end of it it's still not necessarily free so seeing this able to be purchased on your switch able to be actually purchased in this sort of way is actually really damn cool and maybe this might be you know likely to see a marvel vs capcom 4 essentially or a new one when it comes out so you know the likelihood that shit just went kind of up right now especially if people just buy the shit out of this game so you know, that's a really good ass thing. So I, I cause definitely I was not expecting no MVC stuff, right? I was thinking that we're gonna get, you know, uh Capcom versus SNK at some point because it feels like we're gonna get that because of the whole Street Fighter stuff that happened at Summer Game Fest. But still nonetheless, this is also really damn good. So we probably gonna be eating pretty damn well for fighting games honestly so just keep that in mind but yeah that's just something that I was like yeah that's pretty much what i was hoping for to happen at some point in time glad it shows that it is real and it's a thing and max's reaction to it was absolutely golden so i'm just happy that max honestly for the most part just got his game that that's to me that's the best thing but then they said hold up boy hold up you thinking that's all we have today you thinking that you know that's all we got no we got something for you too mr senpai sir because they decided to be like how you like some more dang and rompa like content 
And so they dropped a Danganronpa game that's not Danganronpa. And it's so sad. But at the same time, I'm still curious as all hell to play whatever the hell this shit is. This game called The Hundred Line Last Defense Academy. Yep, it's it's pretty much Dangan. <laughs> to be real with you, I was like, oh shit. The moment I saw this, I was like, yep, it's over. It's it's wraps. It's wraps. I gotta see what this shit is. And keep in mind, I'm a someone that doesn't play a lot of detective games. Like I'm not into Ace Attorney or anything like that. I'm not necessarily into anything like that when it comes down to it. Like I play fighting games and open world games. That's where I, you know, succeed in. But because Danganronpa and, you know, games like it are so different when it comes from Kodaka, I have to be just intrigued into playing it. Even if it's something of a style of game I'm not necessarily into or want to care for, like I believe there's like a fighting slash kind of mechanic, like a strategy kind of mechanic in this game, which I have no clue of how this shit will work. So for me, I'm going in kind of like a a bit blind when it comes to it, but still nonetheless, I'm all as hell curious to see where the shit might go, you know? And I'm kind of wondering if this is even connected to, you know, the Danganronpa universe in some way, you know? I know Ranko wasn't, but it could be connected in some way, but, you know, we'll have to see. But yeah, ever since he stopped, you know, doing Danganronpa, this man has been busy. Man said, let me drop Ranko last year. Let me re-bring that shit back out for all consoles this year. And now when it comes down to it, you're going to get the Last Defense Academy next year. So best believe your boy is going to be trying to save up to play that damn game. Because you know damn well if it's anything Nagin Rumble related, your boy kind of wants to go ahead and try to see what he's cooking. All I can hope for is one day we get a damn fighting game. That's all I really care for though. But still nonetheless, hopefully one day we'll get that shit. But yeah very much looking forward to seeing what this shit is people already looking at the mime character which i pointed out as well was like you know what she got a effed up mouth but at the very same time she might be all right so that's just kind of how it is honestly but you know we'll have to kind of see how things kind of go because you know it's basically going to be dangin but with a little bit of fighting element in it a strategy and you know maybe something else in it too but we'll see how it goes so yeah for me i would say this damn showcase was pretty damn good uh, again just there was something in here for anybody at least that's when it comes down to nintendo that's the one thing that will you know keep me being like on the fence about nintendo in a good way is that they know how to show fun and make you have fun just watching this shit that much i can definitely give them because that's hopefully one thing they all ever lose for like for real honestly because they have that japanese audience they really don't need to change it for anything unlike sony and xbox and all of them because yeah let them let them cook basically but yeah that's essentially what i wanted to toss down with this one this one was just pretty damn crazy honestly so yeah if you haven't obviously seen direct would tell you to go back and watch it or see what other games that's in there that you might be ready and curious for but yeah, definitely Last Defense Academy got me. So that's just going to be how it is for me personally. But yeah, also maybe hopefully we'll pick up MVC 2 and just a collection just to see what we can do, honestly. But yeah, that's essentially all I got for this one. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification way out. Also follow me on socials and let's on your channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.